I'm going to start playing this video. So tonight at 2.15 in the morning, I got a call from my alarm company saying that somebody was breaking into uh, my building, which is really unfortunate. So I went and um, zipped on over there, and lo and behold, the lock was actually broken. And I'm playing back the video right here. Or right now we're doing 8x speed. So here we go. Um, if anybody knows these people or this vehicle, I would really appreciate letting them know. So if you see right there, they just turned their headlights off. Uh, driving in the back side of our store. And let me zoom in on this camera right here for y'all. does take a second, I'm sorry. So they have all their lights off. I don't know if they're looking for our building in particular or they're looking there. I don't know what kind of car that is. I would really appreciate it if some car person could tell me exactly what that car is. So you see, it looks like two people get out of the passenger side of this vehicle. One, one right there, you can see walking from my truck. And the other guy either gets back in and starts driving it or somebody else entirely is driving it. I have no idea. Can't really tell what the guy's doing over here. Um, I think he was trying to see if my side door was open, uh, which it was, that one was totally secured. He's looking over back by the truck, it looks like. Doesn't really see anything there. I don't know. Looks a lot like a Chevy or to me, like a small Chevy vehicle. So, so he does grab some sort of light or maybe something reflective. There's no audio on this, so I figured I might well give you a running commentary. So you got two guys, you can kind of see their clothing pretty well. You know, they're putting on gloves. They got their masks on, they got their hats on, they got their hoodies on. Now, what's, um, they basically work on this for a while. We zoom back out to where we can see four cameras. It does take a little bit of time to load. You can basically see he's working on our front door. So we had a lock there where you needed a key to enter it in. Um, it's a really secure lock. The bolt goes up for the top of the door and down for the bottom of the frame. And it also goes horizontally into the second door. So it's, it's really, really, really secure. Um, gets everything all nice and done. Um, so what they did is they pried off the metal cover of that lock so that they can get into the mechanism, pretty much destroying it. And then they use some sort of tool to manually open it. And that's a really pain in the butt lock. It's a very, very, even if you have the right key, it takes a lot of force and a lot of energy to unlock. So, unfortunately, they do get in and they do steal a pretty good chunk of our stuff that's in our lobby area. So, we can maybe get a little bit better view over here. So, that's about all you can see from there. So, we're going to switch over to the uh, four interior cameras in the lobby real quick. And we'll show you what that looks like. They're not in yet. We are watching this in, you know, normal time frame. As you can see, the seconds passing by right there. So, we're going to switch to cameras five through eight this gives you a good view of the inside of the store you can see uh, right here them through the door and then down here you can see them still working on the door and in a moment they will finally open the door and we will see what they took um, I do know you'll if we can watch out for it right here on this table you can see if you see where my mouse is You'll see that there's uh, a phone there. They will be taking that phone. 
Um, along this wall, there's the half circle table, which has four iPads on it. Um, they will be taking all of those and a laptop that's over here. They also went to the shelf below it and had, where we have a whole bunch of gaming headsets. And they took all of those, unfortunately. Um, you'll also see over here on this shelf, there are some webcams. Um, they do grab that at some point. I don't really see when they do that. And over here we have um, a shelf with keyboards on it and some speakers. And they're going to be taking that here in a minute. It does take them a while to get in this lock. As I did say, it is uh, difficult to get in lock. They are only in our store for about 35 seconds. So they break in in about 10 seconds from now. They're still shining their light through, trying to make sure it's worthwhile. There they go. So if you can see by their movements, if you know who these people are, by their clothes or by their movements. Anyway, there goes my phone. There goes my webcams. Here goes all the tablets. Bull. Very, very annoying. Now, right about here, they're going to get about a hundred decibel alarm. And soon as that starts, um, they get really spooked and leave. Now, it looks really bright right here because we do have night vision. There he goes. He needs the extra keyboard. So let's switch to the exterior cameras. It looks really bright because we have night vision, but it is really dark in there, actually. So, come on, cameras. So here they are. They left the building. They're getting into their little car. Oh, wow. They're driving off before they even close the doors. So they leave. They come go out the back way the same way they came in. 2.15 in the morning. Um, right around 2.14 is when my alarm company called me and about 2.14 and a half and I was in the camera system already at this point and obviously they were already gone because they were really, really good. So yeah, if you see over here, they did turn right after, on Mountain View going towards 75th Avenue. Anyway, that's it. If um, you have any information, I would love that you guys could call me about that or we do have a, a thing with the Peoria police. It's really a tragedy nowadays that people have to steal from, you know, businesses that are trying to get by, you know, it would be really nice if they could just couldn't do that. Anyway, have an awesome day and thanks.